Every year, the Mayor's Breakfast is our official kickoff um, for our business conference presented by Key Bank. We have a really good partnership with the city. I love coming to the breakfast. Uh, a lot of people here uh, who have been successful and want to pass it on. Thank you so much um, for participating this year in the Mayor's Breakfast, which is our official kickoff. The Mayor will provide some awards to businesses in different categories. With the businesses, because the whole point of this is for growth, and that's what we're here for today. And I've been very aggressive in reaching out to minority and women-owned businesses and veteran-owned businesses also. 35% of our businesses have, in our repositories have done business with the city of Indianapolis. <laughs> about what his initiatives are as it relates to minority women and veteran-owned businesses. A lot of this is partnerships, as Greg says. It's, it's amazing what happens, and one of those great partners for us in how we do our business is, is Black Expo. And that's what it's about, the economic impact. And you, minority women and veteran businesses, have benefited from them. You know, when we bring the business together, we bring the partners together, it has been completely different uh, than in the past and it has tremendous impact. We will have some very substantive um, workshops um, which are designed to grow businesses from an economic development standpoint as far as um, workforce development. And we want to kind of celebrate their successes and that, that's really why we're here today and uh, to kind of have some camaraderie. And the thing is that we don't give people anything People are capable, you just need to move the barriers out of their way. And that's what we did. We moved the barriers out, made sure you could talk to the decision makers, make sure you knew what was going on in the city. Well, it's really a community celebration, and I, I always try to get the word out as much as I can. This is, there's a lot of good events that go on with the Expo. It's, it's just a, it's amazing. I, I love all the different seminars that go on. I love you know the all-white party. I mean, that. that community spirit, if you will, that really comes out in those events, but it's really the education piece uh, and coming together that's really very, very important. I'm not sure everybody understands that, but I want them to understand it. We have to make sure that uh, the young people, uh, the follow in our trace, uh, have the life that we think uh, we've been successful with, and so I, I just think that's important, and it's always important to give back, it's always important to mentor, it's always important to spend time. Uh, with young men and women to make sure they're on the right path also. One of the things that I always say is the reason why Indiana Black Expo Summer Celebration has lasted longer than other organizations or companies that have tried to um, start up these Black Expos across the country is due to the um, depth of the collaboration. We couldn't put this huge event on that draws almost 300,000 people into the city without the mayor's office and without the governor's office and without the businesses who financially support and invest in this event. I just I hope everybody really enjoys this. It's, uh, this <laughs> the whole 10 days is a tremendous event.